I recently got a second generation Tacoma and I found that it has quite a bit of uh, improvements and upgrades since my last one, which was a 98. So I thought I would uh, go ahead and go through those and uh, show you what I found. It's one of the things I love most about this truck in the, in the back space here is unlike my last truck, you got all this room back here. You got storage under here. You got storage behind the seat, back here, right? And in my last truck, you'd have the seat belt that'll always fall back. In my last truck, you have the seat belt that'll always fall back down, gets lost underneath the seat. So I noticed you have these little pockets here. Keep that secured, slam it back down, no problem. Now the next thing I found, we have your headrest back here. What I thought, what I thought this was for was actually for when you drop it down. And I noticed it really doesn't, it doesn't really fit, does it? Then I realized all this is for is for added visibility back here. So you can keep those down, especially if you don't really have uh, backseat passengers much like I do and uh, give yourself a little bit more visibility at your rear view All right, so next question was how do I get this thing to lay down flat? Then I noticed you have these little holes here Kind of look like they're lined up with these posts here and I realized yep just push that inside button there to release the Headrest and cram those guys in there. Then you could drop it down flat. It's not the fastest change out, but like I said, if you don't really have people riding in the back too much and you're carting stuff around that maybe doesn't can't get wet in the truck in the bed, or if you got pets or something like that, this is a good option. Now this next one's pretty simple and I don't know if it actually needs explaining but in any case I noticed I heard some rattling going on in in the back here when I was driving one day and I thought I would see if I could fix it realized oh just the seat belts rattling around and they put some straps in here so take care of that too now this next one I thought was pretty funny I just recently figured out the gas cap situation here I thought it was weird that you know you, they didn't have a place to put this thing my old truck had a little spot right here you hang it like that Obviously this one doesn't have one, or so I thought. I don't know if it's meant for that or not, but it just hangs right there. All right, and lastly, I just wanted to point out that if you've got a load capacity, or you don't know your load capacity rather, you can find it right here on the sticker on the inside of your driver's side door, um, which, you know, is not much of a secret. Uh, but what I never realized, and maybe you didn't either, was the combined weight of the occupants and the cargo should not exceed that weight. I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm about 170 pounds myself, and then I think, you know, it, you could easily get up to 400 pounds by bringing a few people along and uh, loading up the back of the truck. I never really thought about it, but uh, good to know. So I hope you liked my little mini revelations, and if uh, you have any of your own, I'd appreciate uh, hearing about them.